Oh, man. I ain't talked to you in a while. I know I've been really derelict or whatever the big word is. Um, uh, it's some freaking uh, coconut water. 100% uh, coconut water. Some brand that comes from wherever. You know, I got the big ones over there, the, the Vietnam kind of thing. But here's what I found. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to get to something else. We'll, we'll give you an update. But I like coconut water. Um, it seems as though you know, when, they, when something comes through, right, uh, the customs or whatever have you, so let's say you have the Manuka honey, right, uh, or coconut water. Uh, if you come through U.S. whatever, it gets irradiated no matter what. They, they don't have to say it on the package because they don't irradiate it at the, at the source. But anyway, I have to do more research on that to find out if that's true. Because if that's true, or, you, you know, you spend all that money for that Manuka honey and then you're going to irradiate it, you know, the New Zealand honey, you know, irradiate it, that means that those those benefits are wiped out. So you got to check that out, see what happens. But that's not going to help tip. Look, okay, I know. I mean, I, I'm derelict in my, uh, um, in my readings of uh, the, the, the Gullah Bible, I haven't done my Sunday sermons. I haven't po actually I haven't posted on on, on uh, YouTube in, in in a while. I mean, you know, I have, don't worry about that. But things have been happening unexpectedly. <laughs> First of all, here's a big thing. Uh, you know how they say like divorce and uh, and moving are the two biggest. Um, how do you say that? Um, trauma. Well. Unbeknownst to me, I mean, when I got back uh, from the States, when I, yeah, when I got back from the States, I was in my silent mode for a while. But then in the last week, yeah, I guess it'd be a week, uh, I was getting some other stuff together. But then I had to move. I had to move my household here in, in Southern Africa. So I'm out of Dallas. You know, I, I know what I've been living in, Limbete, well, living in Dallas since uh, 2000. 13, and, uh, and we've been in Lubete for the last, I don't know, four, four years, whatever it is. And so I had to move. So uh, so all the money, I would say, all kind of stuff had to just go into this 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 move, you know. And so what I've done, excuse me, it's early morning, and uh, kind of quite peaceful right now. I'm in uh, Somerset West. Somerset West. <laughs> I want to. I don't want to call it a suburb, but it's close to Cape Town. Well, it is Cape Town. It's Cape Town. And uh, whew, uh, anyway, and, and, and so, so 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 I've been derelict in that. Uh, I had to move households, uh, and had to be very 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 quick, and um, even move the doggy, <laughs> my dog. Uh, everybody had to go, and of course I have to get back to the states. Mm -hmm. So I had like. Basically, one time I had to move, I say had to, decided to move, to, I moved was literally like two days. <laughs> so, I'm glad, look, it, it's good to be Anthony. I'm gonna tell you why, because I, I adapt to everything. No matter what it is, I will get through it. You know, tenacious, I will get through it. So, anyway, so things are settled down on this end. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Uh, it's uh, whatever day it is. I think it's Asada Shakur's birthday or something like that. Yeah, I met Asada Shakur one time in Cuba. Shook her hand. Anyway, uh, 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 it's, it's like, a, what, the 17th of July? Something like that. It's right before my, my, my spiritual advisor's birthday. He's on the 22nd of July. Anyway, uh, uh, but for this week uh, that I'm, I'm here now, right now, I'm talking to you on a is this a Sunday? Yeah, it's a Sunday. Yeah, it's a Sunday. Um, and uh, for the next week, we'll be doing some work on uh, on uh, f some food issues um, or helping out. I, not, I'm doing the work. I'm, I'm helping out. You know, it's good therapy for me. Anytime I can help, it's good therapy for me. I can't explain this to you, but I'm just a servant. <laughs> I'm no biggie. I'm just a servant. So anytime I can serve and help, I'm there, and and I feel good about those kind of things. Anyway, uh, so for this week, I'm helping out. In fact, I'll be uh, today I'm going to my old old stomping grounds, Felipe. Yes, Felipe Township. 
Let's see who I see. See who remembers me. I ain't gonna say nothing. I just walk around. Let's say, how did this brother snow? Let's see what happens. Oh, well, Flippy also is the home for uh, Marcus Garvey Village. So I go visit him too. Um, so it's like a recon today. We're going to do something because a big event is tomorrow and some other events or during the week, the waterfront, Cape Town, um, that kind of thing. So, so anyway, what I'm trying to say, everything's back on track, I think. But also I've decided, and I shouldn't say it, but I've decided that no matter what, this reading, this Henry Dumas reading, is going to be done on the day it's supposed to be done. So there's a, well, I'm not even going to pressure anybody because writing stuff, doesn't mean anything to me. I think what's going to happen is uh, as soon as I get, uh, get back to the States, uh, uh, what, August, was it August, September, uh, July, August, August uh, 4th or something like that officially, and then I'll be a, a, like a bandit, or like a banshee bandit. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be working hard because on the 28th of July, we're going to do this reading regardless. If I got to read every part myself, I don't care. It's going to get out there and, that's, and I'm going to record it, everything like that. So just to let um, folks know, uh, whatever, and it's not going to be money, nothing like that. I just got to get the venue I want. If I don't get the venue I want, I don't care. I will, I will, it's going to get done. It has to be done that particular date this, because it has to do with um, Emmett Till. So what I'm trying to say is I'm back on court. Of course, I'm... Um, um, uh, Cape Town, which means I left the Eastern Cape, in the Western Cape right now, and a little while I'll be in the States, and uh, for that first month I hope be in New York, uh, but then I go to the whole Yaki uh, challenge, or whatever you want to call it, for the three bidders in uh, the least in August, that'll be September. And I uh, also just heard from, uh, that just heard about, Yaki is, um, we just got a big major deal with the whole, the big platforms, you know, the, the you know, the Netflixies and the, the Amazonies and the, those kind of people like that. So great for him. Uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, well, I'll see what happens. I want to get to St. Louis uh, too, so we'll, we'll see where he's based, but you know, he's around and whatever. But I want to talk to his people because there's something I think that will be good for uh, for Yaki's situation. Well, uh, well, let me leave. His situation is, is excellent right now. It would be good for what I'm what we're doing in the, in the Eastern Cape in the Baza. So, uh, so hopefully that will happen in the, the, while I'm in the States for these for these months and going through this whole thing. And uh, I'll project, so next year is going to be a glorious year. Oh, just in case you're aware, because I, I, I did my 52-day uh, silence and whatever happened, and for the last whatever months I haven't been shaving and stuff like that, even the, the, the thing like that. But then somewhere in the day, you know, because this 52 days of silence and I was like meditating and, and cleansing and whatever happened. I had to th think a lot of things because it's silent. You know what I mean? I'm looking at people and saying, you know, I'm glad I'm quiet because these people, I, I, I got to learn to be more quiet more more often. Because you learn a lot. But one of the things I decided to say, I'm, I'm not going to let anybody cut my hair but my Iman Barber in New York. So the first thing I'm going to do is give him But then, I'm an old man. I don't have to look good. I'm not looking for no girlies. I'm not looking. I'm like, you know, my wife is fine. Doggy's fine. People, I'm, I'm fine. So I'm not worried about appearances. But you know, I'm good. I think you know. I think when I'm doing do my email, we'll figure out what he does. Anyway, so to my pick, so in the uh, in the month, in less than a month, or oh, well, in three weeks, whatever have you, then I should be in the states and I'll be looking different. Meanwhile, I will go back on back. I'll be. I'll try to. I will post more on YouTube uh, because this week, like I said, we're going to do, uh, the events that's going to happen this week. I'm going to record. I'm, I'm doing a lot of recording for them and for, for my. Well, doing a lot of, excuse me, doing a lot of recording. So, uh, so I'm, I'm I'm going to be back in my in my, in my excuse me in my glory. It's early morning. I just finished taking a wash and whatever. Okay. So that's it. Let me uh, let me go and I'll, I'll keep on reporting to you throughout the uh, or throughout. Right? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, yo, take care. Be well. Just uh, some some bl blatherings from me. T from the past and the statement traces to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.